So what we have to do first is a global survey of what we have, how much arable land, how many factories we have, how many coal mines, trucks, ships, planes, and by the amount that we have, we can determine, knowing how many cases of cystic fibrosis and all the other physical ills, that tells us how many hospitals we build. Not some jackass saying, I think I'll build a hospital here. It's a good area, good community, and has future potential. No, you do a survey to see what's needed, and you provide for those needs. If you don't do that, you're going to have war and crime continuously. There's a place in Jamaica called Ochos Rios, where eight rivers come together. And there's so much beautiful drinking water that I've never seen anybody come in during the day or night and steal water. There's so much of it. Now, if people have access to the necessities of life, they do not steal. If people can go to a center like a library and get any book out of the library, you know, before they had the public library, women marched for a public library, and they had rotten eggs thrown at them, and they were beaten up and put in jail. Eventually, they got the library in. The reason that people were against the library, if you made books available free, they felt it would threaten the sales of books in bookstores. But when people read a little book, a little bit, they bought more books than ever, because they knew more. So I want to build a camera center in every city where any human being go in and check out any kind of camera, just like the library. And any musical instrument. This is love of your country and love of the American people. If they can have access to this, they needs. But a family, some of them are not educated. They don't know how to feed their children. They feed them junk food. Not because they're bad parents, they just don't know. A failure of education. In schools, you should learn how to relate to one another how to bridge the difference, how to have a different opinion than your best friend and yet not get angry. This is what the future is about. Learning how to share ideas, not ego. Ego is one of the major problems in the world today. Hey, I did this. I can run faster than you. My daddy can beat your daddy. <laughs> or I can ride a bike faster and further. That's the ego. When you learn to share ideas, you enhance everyone. When you keep it to yourself, you remain a stupid individual. Now somebody said, well, some people are born with better brains than others, meaning the brain tissue, there's more neurotransmitters. If your brain is better than anybody else's, you become a Nazi faster in a Nazi culture. A good brain has no mechanism of discrimination except experience. Like if you, if you smell a rose, some young lady, you like it, the next time you see something that looks like a rose, if it got spots on it, black spots, you have a tendency to go. And if it burns your nose for three days and your eyes for three days, the next flower you see of different pattern, you're going to hold it over here and go, you know, you do this. So they say you've learned. No, no. Your behavior was modified by the pain. Learn is a lousy word designed a long time ago. And we still use those words today. I'll see you at sunup. The sun doesn't come up. The earth rotates in that direction. Remember, our language was designed hundreds of years ago. That makes it almost impossible for us to talk to one another. We talk at each other. Hey, how are you? Nice day. Good to see you. If he says, I'm not too well. I need $2,000 for an operation. Can you give it to me? I say, no. Then why do you ask me how I am? What kind of a phony are you? So all this stuff, good morning, how are you, glad to see you, how are the children, all bullshit. Unless you have hospitals, health care for everybody, and everybody is well off. So the doctors don't have to work 18 hours a day, or 10 hours a day. They should work four hours a day. And when a new machine comes into a factory, the boss doesn't walk home saying, now you work four hours a day, you get a little more pay, and a month vacation. He downsizes. He doesn't need you anymore, because the machine does the job. That's why people get mad at machines. They don't serve people. I never read of a machine that has